Today we're going to be creating a basic custom keypad within GP Pro EX. We'll start off by uh, creating a new project. We're going to use the GP3000 series and we don't really care which drive we we'll use. So we'll move right on to our first base screen. And now we're going to put a simple uh, data display on there, standard numeric data display. Drag it out. And then we're going to go in and uh, select an address. This time I'm going to use an internal user address, user 0. And then checking the allow input box turns that into a, a data entry point. Right away I'm going to go to simulation to uh, see how that works click on the box and there we have the standard system pop-up keypad notice that within the keypad itself you have uh, the data entry point and a min and max value for the data you want to enter so I'll quit simulation go back into the editor Now we'll go to keypad registration and create a new keypad, keypad number one. This is a user keypad and we'll give it any name we like. We'll call it uh, my decimal keypad. Screen comes up much like a base screen except that uh, it has these uh, corner markers that show you the extent of the uh, keypad area that we're going to be working with. Then go to the package display and we open up uh, the selection for decimal keypads. These are the standard ones that come with a package. As you hover over each one you'll see the image of the format that they come in. And we just go through all the different styles. Notice these new ones at the bottom that have the uh, same max min displays as the normal system keypad. We're going to start off with something basic so I'm going to go and choose this silver decimal keypad and just drag it onto the display. Then I go to the parts and data display and I can now add an input display. This is the value that we're entering so we can see it in a calculator style keypad. And then we can also add uh, maximum limits as the system keypad does. You'll see a 1 and a 2 there and I'm just going to drag out the corner braces to accommodate the new size. And then I'm going to pick up the uh, second one there and I'm going to move it over alongside the first one. This is a very crude one, just want to show you this quickly because there are a lot neater ways to do this. So let's just see how that uh, works now. We go back into the data display, go to the data entry tab, extended gives us additional settings to the enabled pop-up keypad. And now instead of choosing system keypad, we use user keypad number one, which is the one that we've just created. Okay, go back into simulation and this time we get a uh, pop-up keypad min max value and the data entry as we put it in. And that's basically it. We've uh, finished the uh, the basic form of the custom keypad and we're now going to go on and look at a, a more advanced version of it. 
We're now going to be uh, showing how you can reuse standard library keypads to produce uh, a very quick and uh, a lot more professional looking user keypad. So here I go back to my user keypad number one that I created and I go back into the packages and this time I'll seek out a, a, use, a system keypad which has the max and min values and also has the uh, uh, a keypad input display. Immediately I get an error because I can't have two keypads on the same display. I'm aware of that. Thanks for the warning. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to delete these uh, max min elements up there. Go back to the system keypad and ungroup it. Now I'm just going to steal uh, the top part of this system keypad and put them over onto my almost semi custom keypad. Just drag it out to be the same width. And now I can lose the rest of this uh, system keypad. So now I just make some very slight adjustments on the uh, on the sizes. And then immediately I can go directly to simulation. It's the same system keypad number one that we're using. Same data entry point. This time when I click it, there you have it, a much more uh, professional uh, finish to the uh, to the one that we had uh, created earlier. Now we're going to show how we can uh, group and resave the keypad we just made uh, into a library so that we can use it again. So we just highlight the whole keypad, go to group, makes it one object and we open up our package display. I'm just going to pin that there and then select a folder. I've got a folder called Favorites. You'll see it has a few other keypads in there that I've tried before. And then I just drag it uh, directly from the display into the library and there it is ready to be used again. The keypad that's left can be uh, easily made bigger uh, to accommodate operators with gloved hand operation etc um, and then I can just uh, drag out the corner braces again to accommodate the extra space so because we have the um, uh, data display right here in the keypad we can actually make this keypad uh, almost as big as the whole screen uh, even if it covers up the data that we're actually trying to enter. So now we go back to our uh, data display and uh, just to prove that the max min stuff works okay. Two different ways to do that. I'm going to go for the alarm method. Go for the alarm settings. Enter a, a lower limit. Lower limit here is going to be 100 and set the upper, upper limit, the max, to 10,000. Go back into simulation and there's the data entry, there's the pop-up here we have 100 to 10,000 as a max min. I go to enter some data and I overspill. Won't accept it as an entry, so I have to clear it and enter a value that's in range. And there we have it. That's uh, the custom keypad. Uh, from scratch or derived from a, another library component, uh, resaved 
uh, for future use.